everybody, it's Karen from Waterfall Acrylics. How are you? I have uh, allergies. My eyes are, I'm perpetually crying all the time because uh, falling leaves make my eyes water. Anyway, I am back um, to show you the dried results from the last video from the Halloween pour. It's this guy here. It dried fantastic, but it also, it's such an interesting painting. It's um, half like a cloud pour and then half like a regular flip cup because like, check out all those cells. They, they clouded the white, clouded up even more as it dried. And then for the traditional cells, you know, around the lake here, they're like perfect. And this painting has like some flaws that make it actually like kind of cold, like, you know, like kind of some big wonky cells here. But overall, it's just so interesting to look at. It just has that je ne sais quoi thing going on that makes it cool. So it is going to be available for sale. Uh, shoot me an email at waterfallcollects at gmail.com. And I am so enamored with these colors that you'll see me go again with the same color palette, but this time swap out that Artist Law Flow Acrylic White for some Titanium White to see if it makes a difference. So yeah, let me get you down. Mm, this is like deja vu. It's uh, late night pouring again. Not quite as late. It's 144 instead of 202. I'm redoing the Halloween pour. Same color, same recipe, but this time I am using Amsterdam titanium white instead of that awful Artist Love Flow acrylic stuff. Um, color Brands Pouring Maiden Recipe. All that good stuff is in the description section. Tap on the title to open it up. Uh, yeah. This is my glue and water recipe, one to one ratio. And then like a teaspoon to tablespoon of water, depending um, for a thicker consistency like this. See that mound? It lasts a second or two before it disappears. Look, thicker, thicker paint. I like it because it holds the cells together. Um, so we're gonna give this a go. We're gonna do a black and white sandwich pour. So the bottom part will be white. And we're gonna put that like that much. We'll save the rest of the white to spread around. And then colors, oh, gotta add, um, I am gonna use my spot on treadmill silicone. Again, this stuff right here helps if you open it. These are pretty full cups. Um, smaller canvas tonight, 12 by 16 with deep sides. And I figure if it works out, I'll use the leftover for some little paintings. Um, I'm gonna put probably three to four drops in here because, one more, good, good. Um, because it's, they're pretty full. And kind of dunk those in there give it a little mix so this color right here this is liquitex basics in gold next up is liquitex basic in uh what's it called prism something i lost the uh thing for it prism you know purple <laughs> and let's do three in the purple Dunk that in. There's the purple. And then Liquitex Basics in yellow green. Maybe four. There's that one. And then fun, nope. Um, Bright aqua green, Liquitex Basics as well. Give that a little mix. So it was Halloween yesterday. We had, I'm gonna say we had 80 kids or so, a lot. I went through two big bags of candy pretty quick. And then finally we have 
This is Artist Loft Flow Acrylic Black mixed with a little bit of Artist Loft Mars Black. I wanted to use this. I didn't have enough, so I had to use the Flow Acrylic. But I got to say, this doesn't act the same way the white does. So this one, even though it's a lot of black, I'm still just going to do big four drops. And give that a mix. And this will go on the top. Last time the black took over and that was actually kind of cool. I'm kind of hoping that happens again. So, we'll layer our colors. Let's start with, let's start with the aqua, aqua green. And prism. Purple prism color. What is it? It's going to drive me nuts. Prism violet purple. You know. That was close. I had half of it right. Prism violet. Hmm. Let's do the green. Last time I did, I remember doing the gold on the purple. But let's go with the yellow green. And then the gold. That was a lot of gold. And let's do one more layer. Yep. I'm gonna have leftover paint, so if I screw this up, I can go again. one and then the black gosh got a lot of black Karen I'm gonna fill this up pretty full too make a nice sandwich so there's our cup I think I'm going to go ahead and flip it and then pour weight around it. Oh my gosh, this is huge. Ready? One, two, three. Bottoms up. Oh, that was pretty good. For how full that was? That was pretty good. I'm going to take some... I might wait. I might flip it and then do the weight. Because this isn't as big of a canvas as the last one. Let's move it up to a corner. I think I'll I think I'll flip and drag it a bit. Let some air in underneath a little bit. Ready? Oh, I don't want it to get stripey. I don't like it when it gets stripey. And let's put the rest on the corners. Interesting. Let's use, let's pour some white here. That way we can conserve, right? Instead of doing the whole canvas. There. Something like that. See how thick it is still? All right. Try not the new hands off. Little doohickeys. I had bought these um, like a month ago and promptly returned them because they didn't fit color wrap canvases. And I gotta say, customer service is great because they came out with new and improved ones that do fit gallery wrap canvases. So I'm giving them another go. They were nice enough to send me two free pair. Hmm, debating whether to torch these bubbles. I don't think I will. I think I'm going to slide the paint around first, get some coverage going. Use that white. 
Can you guys see? Because I feel like I'm up higher. Let me come down a second. I hope, uh, let me at least two bikini corners. That would freak you guys out, right? Because <laughs> I never do that. Maybe I will. Maybe I'll have, uh, leave it like this. Hold on. That means I'm going to go like this right here. And put some more white on this corner. And maybe some down here too. Just to be all fancy. Be fancy pants. Take some off there, leave that corner white. Getting some black cells. So maybe that uh, flow acrylic and black is troublesome after all. And then we'll just come down off this corner a little bit. That leaves me plenty of paint to torch and dork around with. I'm pretty happy that I didn't get too many cells. Let's give this a torch. I'm gonna try and do a better job with the torch too and kind of keep it up high. So I don't get the clusters like last time. Mmm, getting some white speckles. I might kind of go in close on this black area though. Mm, there's some slowly coming up for me, keeping my distance. I'm just gonna give that a second. I'm gonna go right in here. Not too many, not too many. Touch up my corners a second while we wait for those to grow and develop. I may have enough paint to do a another canvas. You guys might see these colors three times. I'm going to put a couple in here if I can. Nothing might, nothing might, I can't talk today. Nothing might happen there, but we'll see. got a, a cluster here and a cluster here that I don't like so let's just go back and oh back and forth I'm gonna pop a giant bubble right there I like the cells right there so let me put a couple right there all right Drainy I might have that black come all the way off or maybe just leave like a hint of it no i want it all the way off just like that composition better stretch out some cells and i do have a little set of caterpillars god i hate those things hold on i'm gonna grab a skewer Actually, this is this is like a centipede right here. So what I'm gonna do is like I'm gonna try to dunk it. We'll just do an end, and see what happens. It's like dunk part of it into the paint so it goes underneath. Might not work. Or well, that might make a big cell right there, which will be better. You kind of broke it up a little bit. Let me take some of this cluster off here. I'm kind of liking this. I don't know what you guys think. 
Yeah, I'm gonna take some of this cluster off this way. A little bit, a little bit, not all of it. Leave some of them, leave some cells. Bring them back, let them grow. See my paint, because my I like my paint thick. The cells aren't gonna get um, terribly large, but they're, uh, they're cool. I really, really like this. Like double really. I like this right here. I think, where's my stick? Let me see how thick this is. We'll stick it in the uh, centipede. Oh, not bad. I'm gonna say ta-da and grab myself another, uh, I, got, I got enough left for maybe like a 12 by 12. And we'll do a twofer. What do you think? Yeah? And then I'll get you guys down on both. Um, really liking the, the stands though, because uh, you know, you didn't have to wear gloves or worry about touching your sides. I'm just fixing my white right here. I'll put them off to the side and show you a close up after we do the second one. Yep, I'll be right back. All right, I didn't have any 12 by 12s, but I found a 10 by 10. And unfortunately, my little hands-free little tool doesn't fit the size canvas. It's just a smidge too big. But basically, you take it, you put it underneath here, it goes up like this, and then you, you tighten it with some screws. And the screws are great because it, it they act like cookie cutters or your push pins and keep it up off your uh, surface so but that's okay we'll just use my cookie cutters and I have a little bit of white left in here so let's kill that off and uh, layer another cup and give it this little stir and we'll start off with purple this time there's about two ounces of white at the bottom of this cup Let's do purple and the yellow green. And the aqua green. And the gold. Ooh, now I get to put my purple on top of the gold. I think I'm gonna have a ton of black left. Maybe I'll do a dirty pour into the black next. <laughs> All right, what am I missing? I'll do gold next. I really like the shade of green, um, the yellow green and the black make together. So we'll do that and then put our black next and give this a flip. And this time I'll do my edges in black. All right, ready? Let's see, Geronimo. I have this little cup of black here. We'll use this for the edges and the corners. Like this. So the Fluid Art Experience is like 10 days away. I am so excited. I hope to see some of you there. I want all of you there. <laughs> uh, it's gonna be a lot of fun. And yeah, I just can't wait. It's gonna be a ball. Lots and lots of prizes too. Like we have some amazing giveaways and things. If you come to the, uh, the barbecue after the first night, Oh, this is a full cup. Ready? Alakazam. 
Whoa, the black. The black came out to play. The black wasn't fooling around. And they're still painting my cup. I'm going to save that a second. Huh. We are going to tilt that black around. I'm going to keep that little green on the corner. It's not quite a bikini corner. It's a little spot of color. There's that green shade. That might not be everybody's cup of tea, but I think it's cool. Oh, that can't be a bikini corner. That's good to get off. Oh, I'd like to save some of the purple, too. So, oh, yeah, the gold's coming out. So we're going to stop right there. And so we have paint, paint to play with. Dang, it cannot talk today. And uh, see if it can go easy on the torching again. Let me wipe off my fingers. And yeah, I might, <laughs> I'm going to have enough for a third, you guys. That's because I really, really like this color palette. All right, ready? Same deal. I feel where the heat is. Don't get too close. It's kind of like what I do with the hair dryer when I'm blooming. I see a bunch of um, aqua green over here. Stay up high. Some up here. I need something right in here. Don't bring your hand, Goober Girl. Let that go for a second. It might be a little too plain for me. I don't know. We'll see. Maybe it's swinging around or something. Very celestial. And that was a nice little touch right there. Man, good job with the torch today, Karen. You can't talk, but you can torch. I'll give that a second. It's always on the edges. So right here, I have these like really pretty um, pink and purple cells with the green trim. And they're like right on the edge. You know, they're a goner. Same with right here too. I like the little cells. Like a starry sky. This is super pretty in here, too. I got a little bit busy here. So let's tilt things around, shall we? See what happens. Yeah, see, there's a there's a ton of paint here. See how easy it's uh, moving? So let me just wiggle my way and like kind of do like a rainbow thing and keep that arc and then bring it down. Except I want to take off some cells over here too. Hold on. And some of those roll off. Well, that screwed up my arc. <laughs> That's all right. That that one that one part is just way too busy. So it's gotta go off. It's just like a starry sky. And flip it around. Find some black for a corner here. Or I'd stare at it and decide whether or not it's too plain. Whether or not I leave the whole thing just be like this. You keep the little rainbow in the corner. 
See how much paint is left on the canvas? I want to do one more because when the painting gods are smelling on you, you don't stop, even if it's 2.23 a.m. <laughs> I'm going to get rid of those. Maybe a couple over here. I might just leave it like this. It just reminds me of a, a starry sky. And I love the green slash black background. You know, come down, spread these out a little bit. They're growing. And we're gonna take off that one little caterpillar. Bye, ah, off he goes. And come back. It's like um, kind of northern lights going on in a couple spots here. I'm going to leave the background the way it is. I might leave this just the way it is, y'all. It's cute as a button. I feel like I'm two for two. Um, I'm just grabbing. I was working on a different project before I started filming, so I had paint like all all kinds of stuff on my tarps here yeah what do we think let me take my skewer and see how much paint is left couple little baby caterpillars these guys here they don't they're cute though they get to live mm, i can use to look i could stand to lose a little more paint so I think I'm gonna do, if I have to lose a little more paint, and see how these ones are falling off here. We're gonna have those fall off in a set that's behind them. They can like be half on and half off. So let me turn this and then I'm gonna do, uh, I'm gonna just take all the colors and put them in the black and do a dirty pour for the hell of it and see what happens. Yeah, see the paint's still kind of flowing. So let me take off some of those cells like that and then come back straighten out the other ones right super cute hey that one's done let me go put him on the other counter and uh let me see how much paint i have left i have maybe two ounces of black that i can dump the colors in so I'm going to grab another 8x8, eight eight, and it'll be a threefer. Yep. Okay, guys, I'm not going to do a third one. i got to exercise some self-control and go to bed. So <laughs> here's a close-up of the wet results of these two. Here's the first one. I don't know if it's a top, top or bottom, but so cute. The little cells. I like the little baby cells and the black line. It just makes me smile. Cool cells there too, right? With the quadruple rings around them. Little cluster there. These uh, cells here. Wow. So they look gold there, but that's really that yellow green color with the purple. And then there's some gold up in there. So you can kind of tell the difference. And then the green and then the blue purple, just really cool. I'm debating of whether or not I like that black, the black section. I kind of do though, I don't know why. Um, the whole thing just appeals to me. I'm trying to go up high. So you can see that one there. And you can sell, see the difference in cells, cells from where the black sewed up at the very beginning um, after we uh, flipped the cup completely different look and there's like hidden cells in here can you see them kind of sort of buried same with in the black over here too that's kind of cool i always like stuff like that let me go let me go this way so you can see the whole thing there's that one and then here's the little 10 by 10 we did this one's just adorable too it just says great cells, little rainbow corner there. And then all the different colors. They all came out to play. Um, again, it looks, no, that looks green now, right? 
around the uh, the purple the rings very very pretty with a really pretty green and black background kind of love that guy simple and pretty yeah I'm happy with both of these I both like them both so you guys let me know what you think and uh yeah let me say goodbye I'll say goodbye to you tomorrow morning good night Hey kids, I'm back with the dry results. Uh, I wanted to show you something real quick before I show you the paintings. Is the hands-off tools. Um, I got this off of Amazon and this is the first time I used it was in this video. And I wanted to kind of see how, see how it got little paint so it slips underneath the, uh, underneath the stretcher bars. And then these act as stands on your countertop and it does get paint dripped on them. And I gotta say, whatever kind of plastic they used, the paint just peels like right off. So um, I'm rather happy. I talked to the gal who's making these and she said they're making um, a smaller version to fit smaller canvases because it didn't work on my uh, 10 by 10. Um, but they're handy little things and uh, I'll try to put the link in the description section. I'm not sure if I can put it in my Amazon shop. So either check my Amazon shop or if you, or if I can't put it there, then um, there will be a separate link in the description section. Onto the art. So here's the first guy. Um, this guy here, 11 by 14 with the deep sides. They dry great really happy if they haven't been cleaned yet um they'll hang out for a couple weeks before i clean them and resin them but really like the cells are primo like big big difference using the titanium white over the artist loft flow acrylic white for sure uh i haven't decided on the orientation if it should go like this mm -hmm. i think i like it like this yeah yeah so there's that one and then here's the cute little little guy also dry perfectly with the with all the little rainbow cells super adorable uh the big guy will be for sale shoot me an email at waterfallacrylics at gmail.com if you're interested i'm gifting this to a friend so it's not going to be available um Maybe I'll do another video and make more. I don't know. <laughs> uh, it is super, super cute though. And yeah, that's it for me today. I have five more sleeps before I head off to Texas for the Fluid Art Experience. I really hope some of you can join us if you haven't signed up yet for a class. Um, you might want to do that fairly quickly. It's coming up fast. I wanted to talk about the buffet. Um, after the first day of lessons, because we have so many giveaways, like gift baskets with some amazing, amazing supplies. Um, I think one of the gift baskets is worth over $500. Uh, plus you get to eat and hang out with all the artists and there's gonna be a big Q and A session. And if you don't wanna take class with me, definitely take one with, you know, Cause Creations Art, Massey Art Studio, Mina Villegas Art, Sarah Mack Art. We're all going to be there. It's going to be so much fun. I'm really excited. And uh, yeah, come hang out with us. And with that, um, I'm going to go edit some more videos. You guys take care. I'll see you uh, in the next video or hopefully in uh, Dallas. Yeah, y'all take care. Peace out.